ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 33rd annual American Royal Barbecue being held at the 113th American Royal right here in Kansas City. I'm Brant Lau, the chairman of the board of the American Royal, and I want to also welcome you to our newest and perhaps most special event, the first ever inductions into the National Barbecue Hall of Fame. You are participating in the world's largest barbecue event. Kansas City is so proud to host this event, and we are so proud to introduce to you these very special people this evening. And to get the festivities underway, let me introduce the chairman of the American Royal Barbecue Committee, Charlie Tietrich. Charlie? Thank you. Thank you. Well, I have the distinct honor of introducing Roger Twible tonight and give you a little background. Roger spent 27 years with ESPN and ABC Sports announcing college basketball and football games, as well as golf telecasts, including the network's coverage of all major tournaments. Roger was one of the original anchors of ESPN Sports Center, and over the last few years, Roger has turned his passion for golf into a business. He founded Clear Golf and obtained a patent on a putter to be used on the promotional side of the golf business. Twible is currently the host of the Masters World Feed, which he's done for the last 11 years. He was the preseason television voice of the Kansas City Chiefs for 15 years and hosted and hosted a sports radio talk show here in Kansas City in 2008 and 2009. He's a native of Shawnee Mission, Kansas. <laughs> Tribal graduated from the University of Kansas in 1973 and resides... Where are the Hawks? Are the Hawks out there? That's very dangerous, I know, down here. He resides in Mission Hills, Kansas with his wife, Michelle, and his three kids. Please give a warm welcome to Roger Twible. Thank you. Thank you. That yeah, was a tough day for the Jayhawks, wasn't it? Jeez. Yeah, I know. Hey, thanks for being here tonight. This has been a great party, and it continues tonight. And folks, you remember when it was 105 degrees for two straight months of summer, we were praying for this kind of weather. Well, we got it. So let's just enjoy ourselves tonight, all right? Well, this is the inaugural Barbecue Hall of Fame induction this evening, this ceremony at the American Royal, the World Series of Barbecue. And a special thanks to our sponsor, the Midwest Ford Dealers, and to the co-founders of the Barbecue Hall of Fame, Ray Basso and Mike Tucker. How about a nice round of applause? We've been having a great time here, folks, and the Barbecue Hall of Fame exists to recognize and preserve the heritage of barbecue in our world. And it will identify and honor the evolving history and traditions of barbecue and keeping in line with the America Royal's purpose of supporting children and education, the Hall of Fame exists to educate about barbecue. Now, barbecue's top honor is being elected into the Barbecue Hall of Fame. Guy Fieri, Johnny Trigg, and Henry Ford have, by extraordinary achievement and service, made outstanding and significant contributions to barbecue, whether it's a hobby, sport, occupation, or culinary experience. Now, that's a little fancy for us here in Kansas City. We just like to eat barbecue, right? And they've demonstrated a crowning achievement in barbecue excellence. Uh, folks, this year, the Barbecue Hall of Fame at the American Royal will honor a total of 10 inductees, including the seven original inductees, and the 2012 class inducted on this stage tonight. Right now, I'd like to take a few minutes to recognize the current seven Hall of Fame inductees, starting first with Dr. Rich Davis. Dr. Davis is Joplin, Missouri, and is best known for taking his barbecue sauce recipe right from his kitchen to grocery stores and other kitchens across the country. Now, Dr. Davis created KC Masterpiece. How about that? All right? You bet. The barbecue sauce, which paved the way for dozens of new premium priced barbecue sauces. He was named one of America's most famous barbecuers and is confident visitors to Kansas City will discover for themselves why he named his barbecue sauce after the city he believes serves the best damn barbecue in the world. Now, you know we cover the four food groups here. 
in Kansas City, right? We got ribs, brisket, burn ends, and sausage, right? Absolutely. Now, Fred Gould was involved in both the Memphis and May and Kansas City Barbecue Society, barbecue communities for over 20 years. He worked tirelessly as an organizer, promoter, meat inspector, electrician, RV mechanic cook, master judge, and table captain, just to name a few of the things that he did. Now, his rules and guidelines as a meat inspector have been adopted by many and are viewed as standard for inspections at today's contest. He was often the man behind the scenes and loved being involved in barbecue and the folks connected with it. Speed Herrig is known as the Sauce Man and is one of the founding members of the Iowa Barbecue Society. He owns Cookies Food Products and has been in the barbecue sauce business for over 35 years. Now, this is a guy that took a small one-man operation and turned it into one of the largest regional sauce manufacturers in the entire United States. Speed and his staff travel across the country each year in his famous rib wagon, I'm sure you've seen it, bringing barbecue to crowds of sauce lovers everywhere. Mike Mills is a champion pit master, also known as the legend. Just doesn't get any better now when you're known as the legend. He has seven nationally acclaimed barbecue restaurants and is a four-time world champion and three-time grand, grand world champion at Memphis in May. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Give it up for him. Now, Mike is the only barbecue with top security clearance to board Air Force One. Let me read that again. He's got clearance to board Air Force One, and he's received activations including best ribs in America in 07 by Bon Appetit, nonetheless, and best barbecue in America in 09 by Travel and Leisure. Give it a, yeah, have it a nice round of applause. Absolutely. Now, Gary and Carolyn Wells moved to Kansas City in 1976, and in 1982, they entered the American Royal Barbecue Contest. At that time, it was held at the Crown Center, if some of you remember. Uh, the couple entered solely in the ribs category, cooked on two barred grills, and guess what? They won. All right? As competition and barbecue grew in the metropolitan area, the couple, along with Rick Welch, decided to start a club, and in 1986, the Kansas City Barbecue Society was founded. Incorporated in 87, Gary Gary appointed a board, developed rules and regulations, and developed a digital tabulation system. And shortly thereafter, the couple was recruited to serve on the American Royal Steering Committee. Now, they served on that committee for 15 years. KCBS is now over 17,000 members strong and is certified. Go right ahead. And they've certified over 22,000 barbecue judges and sanctioned over 400 contests throughout the U.S. and internationally. Gary passed away in 2007. Carolyn remains the executive director of the Kansas City Barbecue Society. John Willingham is a Memphis native who has created his own lines of sauces, rubs, and marinades and invented the famous Willingham Turbo Cooker. In 1986, John's offset indirect cooker patent was read into the United States Congressional Record, no easy feat, and John used the first offset cooker, which he built in 1979, in the 1981 Memphis and May contest, where he won second place ribs and reserve grand champion. Now, each year at the American Royal World Series of Barbecue, three people will be inducted into the Barbecue Hall of Fame, recognizing them for their length and depth of career, their cumulative body of work in barbecue, their innovation and superiority in style and technique, and their influence and impact on the community or world at large. Now, these inductees will be chosen and honored from the following categories, business, industry, pit master, and celebrity humanitarian. And this year, we honor legends Henry Ford, Johnny Trigg, and Guy Fieri. Now, if you'll please turn your attention to the screen as we honor these great barbecue men. 
If it weren't for Henry Ford, it's uncertain whether we would have ever discovered the charcoal briquette. Today, barbecue teams utilize the charcoal briquette more than any other barbecue fuel. And Henry Ford was an American entrepreneur and industrialist, the founder of the Ford Motor Company, and sponsored the development of the assembly line technique of mass production. He introduced the Model T, which represented the first affordable automobile for America's middle class, thereby putting America on wheels. Ford's longtime interest in material science and engineering led to his instrumental involvement in developing the charcoal briquette under the brand name Kingsford. His, how about that, huh? His brother-in-law, E.G. Kingsford, used wood scraps from the Ford factory to make the briquettes. And throughout his life, Ford constantly developed and improved upon various inventions and was awarded over 160 U.S. patents. Henry Ford passed away on April 7, 1947. Here tonight accepting the award on behalf of Henry Ford is Mark Hepner, a vice president at the historic Ford Estates. Mark? Can you go, can you go and stand over there, please? This man is a legend on the barbecue circuit. He's a staple on the television series Barbecue Pitmasters with 63. Yeah, go ahead. With 63 grand championships and countless category wins to his name, Johnny Trigg of Smoking Triggers has cooked over 600 events during his long and storied barbecue career. And with his wife Trish at his side, Johnny began competing in 1990 from his home base in Alvarado, Texas, and he's logged hundreds of thousands of miles competing in nearly all of the U.S. and even parts of Europe. National champions in 2003, Smoking Triggers has also placed that coveted awards runner-up twice and in addition, he's nabbed the Kansas City Barbecue Society Category Team of the Year winner multiple times. With victories in 2000 and 2003, Johnny is the only two-time Jack Daniels World Invitational Champion, but his biggest trophy of all physically has to be the full-dress Harley Davidson Ultra Classic Motorcycle awarded him for winning the LPQ in 2007. And is that your most cherished award, would you say? Up until now. Up until now, okay. I love it. The $50,000 purse won on the national television during Kingsford's Barbecue Pitmasters Season 3. In addition to that memorable career, Johnny will never forget a USO-sponsored mission to Kuwait, where he and five fellow pitmasters fed authentic barbecue to over 5,000 U.S. military troops in Kuwait. Feared by most of his fellow competitors for his award-winning ribs and brisket, Johnny remains the, let me just put it this way, the most seasoned active competitor in barbecue from which he has no intention of slowing down anytime soon. <laughs> Mr. Trigg, we welcome you into the Barbecue Hall of Fame and please accept your trophy. Johnny, congratulations. How about a nice round of applause? All right, folks. Uh, we have another person to honor here. Right? But first, I have to tell you just a little bit of a story because in my home with my wife and three kids, I'm a firm believer in the family that watches TV together stays together. But, but we have some issues at times because my two girls want to watch the Kardashians. My wife wants to watch Grey's Anatomy. So my son and I want to watch sports. And when we're having an argument, nobody can decide, we go to the go-to guy. And the go-to guy is Triple D.